In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the probability of complementary events. In question one, they ask, the standard deck of cards is 52 cards. A, what is the probability of drawing an ace from the shuffled deck of cards? There are four aces in a standard deck of cards. That being said, the probability of drawing an ace, the probability of drawing an ace is equal to four out of 52. And if we reduce that, we end up with 1 out of 13. So there's a 1 out of 13 chance that you will pick an ace from a fresh deck of cards. The next question is, what is the probability of drawing anything but an ace? And that's where the definition of complementary events comes from, which is the probability of not getting what it is that you are looking for. So in our case, what we have is the probability of not obtaining an ace, and what you do is you take one, which is the whole deck of cards, and you subtract it by the probability of obtaining an ace. And you have a fraction, one minus one over 13. To subtract these two numbers together, we have to find a common denominator. Now you'll notice that this one is the same thing as saying one over one. So we have one over one minus one over 13 we need to find a common denominator. We need to somehow make this 1 into a 13. That can be done by multiplying the denominator and numerator by 13, which leads us to 13 over 13 minus 1 over 13. Now that the denominators are the same, you can subtract the numerators, and we end up with 12 over 13. So there is a 12 over 13 chance that you will not select an ace from a fresh deck of cards. Now, of course, you could have done this in a different way, you could have said, well, there are four aces in a deck, therefore there are 48 other numbers that are not aces. So you could have simply reduced 48 over 52, and that would have led you to that as well. Moving on to question two. A bag contains 12 identical shaped blocks, three of which are red and the remainder are green. The bag is well shaken and a single block is drawn. What is the probability that the block is red? So we are told that there are 12 blocks, and three of which are red. So three out of 12 blocks are red. A quarter of them are red, while three quarters of them are green. So this is the amount of red, and three quarters is green. So to answer A, it says, what is the probability that the block is red? Well, there's a quarter chance that you will pick a red block. What is the probability that the block is not red? So this is the complementary event here, the opposite of what we're looking for. And to do this, well, in this example, it's quite obvious that it's three out of four, but you could have also done the probability of not red is equal to one minus a quarter, and one minus a quarter would lead to three quarters. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate the probability of complementary events.